it's me and today is August 19th and I have not one but two packages here today. They actually came yesterday but I was really busy last night and then my health spiraled so I didn't get around to opening them. But I'm going to open them now and I'm really excited because um, one of these is from a shop that I love more than anything. And the other one, the one I'm opening right now, is actually from someone I have never ordered from yet. So we'll get to, oh, look at that. So the way she packaged this is very interesting. I've never seen a package like this before. This is the moment of truth, you guys. This is how I'm going to know if I'm ever going to get something from this seller again. I'm trying to make sure I don't cut something I don't want to cut because that would be really, really bad considering what this is. Oh my god, I can kind of see it. I think. Yes. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wow. So you guys can see this is a wig. Ooh, I think I like it. This is my first ever doll wig from Lolly Lou Stevens. Oh, it comes with a little hair clip. The one that I got was a, it's not quite lime green, but it's a light green. Just a plastic little clip. Has some little teeth in there and it holds together her business cards so here's her website housefulofdollsandmore.com here's the back and here's another card oopsie I got this from her eBay because she sold out on her Etsy this tells you how to rewig and care for it so that's nice I'm actually gonna Oh geez, break the clip. No, I'm just kidding. We're just gonna put the clip the thing back together. My phone's buzzing. Okay, it just fell right out. Okay, so it comes in a hairnet like every other wig company I know. Let's see. Ooh. So the color I got is Pearl Rose. It's very soft and very thick. And the color is like a very pale blush. And you guys are not going to be able to see it on this camera. So I'm probably going to dual screen this. Let me get my phone. Because this is how we do. Let's see if it's even going to show up on my phone. A bit. Okay. I know that the lighting in my room is really, really terrible, so. Okay, so I think it's coming up a little bit darker in this light than it genuinely is. That's most authentic right there. It's a little bit more pink than my camera is showing but if we put it next to mink which is also an edd wig you can definitely see that it's more pink next to this it doesn't look as pink but next to this it looks way more pink so it's a very faint blush oh my god i'm obsessed i can't wait to put this on rosalie and see Because this was Rosalie's old wig. I don't know if this is going to be her permanent new one or not, but oh my god, I'm obsessed. I love it. My fingers aren't that red in real life, you guys. Love. Love. 
I'm obsessed. This is beautiful. The coloring is just gorgeous. And it's soft and full. It's got weight to it, which I like. I'm so excited. I'm so happy with this. It's coming up more pink in person in this lighting, but my phone is not bringing that up. But you guys can kind of see the pink in it and the general color that it's supposed to be. So I'll need to get Rosalie all situated because right now I have Ariel put together and we can take a look at that when I do. That's definitely, definitely not my last Lolly Lou Stevens wig purchase. I love it. And I'll probably say even more good things once I get it on the doll. So we'll wait for that. But in the meantime, I do really want to open this. This is something that I've been waiting for for a little bit. And I'm really excited to open it. This is from my favorite Etsy shop ever, Cutie Pie Doll Clothing. And it's funny <laughs> how this happened. Um, she was having a release. I didn't set my timer for it because um, out of what I'd seen, there was nothing there that I had to have. And uh, I went on Instagram at like 5.58, which is literally two minutes from when her release was. And she posted a photo that had these two items in it. And I was trying to make up my mind. I was like, do I really need these? And I was like, yes, I do. So I casually went on her, on to Etsy, casually went to her shop, casually put these two things in my cart and casually checked out. And here they are. So it was kind of accidental. But, you know, I think it's going to be worth it because her purchases are always, always worth it. I'm always happy with everything I get from her. So here's the box. It says Cutie Pie Doll Clothing. Um, if you haven't already, you need to check out her stuff because she is so incredibly talented and I'm the most loyal customer ever. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so eager. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so first of all, she gave me this headband to go with it. She's been giving away headbands lately. So it's, it's like a white and it's got really pretty... Um, yellow, orange, and mauve, and pink flowers all over it, and there's a little bow. So adorable. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is my first cardigan from her. Um, I have a sweater, but this is my first cardigan, and I'm obsessed. Let me see this. It's perfect. So it is a mauve color and it's got, um, what color buttons are these? They're brown, but they have like purple in it. I'm going to call them brown. <laughs> brown buttons and they're little pockets that are working. And it's just plain on the back. You see her tag ironed onto the inside. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to mix and match this with stuff. It's beautiful. The color is beautiful. I'm happy. Oh my god, I love this. This is the cutest thing ever. Okay. Oh my god. So, I got overalls. I got overalls and they're so adorable and so perfect. So, they're a light wash overall. Then you see the cutie pie doll clothing tag iron on on the inside and there's minor distressing all over them and they're rolled up just as I like them and on the back they have working pockets and the pockets on the front are also working oh my god and then these hooks actually work like they function like real overalls and then you stick it all in them this way. Oh, they're trimmed with a really pretty paisley fabric. I like it. Oh my god, you guys. 
I knew that I needed these overalls because I have a jean problem and I want overalls in my life, in my doll life I should say. And if I was going to get overalls, they would be from Marilyn. I would also say from Girls and Dolls, but they're closed now and I'm heartbroken still, but Marilyn. 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 There's elastic on the waist as well, on the back. I don't know, is it on the front? I think it is. Mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I can't figure it out. But regardless, it's so adorable. Oh my god, there's a stitched thing here. A stitch detail. <gasps> you guys, I'm in love. I love them. They're perfect. So yeah, she, uh, I don't remember what she had under. I think it was like a white tube top or something. She took the picture two minutes before her release and paired these together. And I don't know that I'm ever going to pair them together, but I knew that I needed them separately. <laughs> so, oh my god, they're beautiful. Actually, they look really cute together. I'm excited. I'm really excited and really happy. Marilyn's stuff never fails to make me feel so happy. And I'm always so satisfied with the quality. Um... And I actually just requested a custom order from her, and there are only a few people ahead of me. So I'll be having another package from her sooner rather than later. But, um, yeah. So stay tuned to see them on a doll. Hey, guys. So I'm back with Lacey, and she's wearing the new overalls. So here's how they look on the doll. They look so good. They fit perfectly. They went on easier than I thought. It was perfect. This is hanging back because of the way I positioned the front of her overalls. But if this was strapped the way it's meant to be strapped, it would be like this. Maybe a little straighter, but still. I love it. I love it so much. She looks so good. I saw the tag. So I had to fix it. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to give you a look of the day for her. Her hairband is from Walmart. Her earrings are from a retired set that you got when you got your doll's ears pierced at the American Girl Place. Her shirt is from uh, Fjord Outfitters. I'm obsessed with this shirt. Her overalls are obviously from Cute Pie Doll Clothing and her boots are from Tenny's Neat Outfit. It looks so good. I can't. I can't. She looks so good. She's got something on her face. There we go. I fixed it. Gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Too gorgeous for words. Okay. This bald dolly is Rosalie, and the reason she's bald right now is because I'm going to put her wig on with you guys. But I'm just going to go over her outfit with you. So here is the cardigan, and it looks so cute on her. I love it. It fits perfectly, and it looks really nice with this dress that I picked out. So I'll give you um, a look of the day for her as well. You guys can see her shoes now. So her earrings are the pearl earrings from the birthstone set. Her cardigan is from Cutie Pie Doll Clothing, as you guys know. You just saw that. The dress is from Buzz and Bee, and the belt that she's wearing with it also came from Buzz and Bee. It came with the dress. And then the shoes are from Tenny's Picnic Outfit. I love them. I think they're so cute. Um, so Rosalie's a cute little gal. I love her to bits. So that being said, it's time for the 
big reveal here. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Let's see. Which way do I want this? I think I want it this way. Well, that was easy. It took two seconds. So now we're going to brush it out. And I'm going to try not to show you guys too much. Right now, I just want to see it. Let's, let's look. little princess my pink princess here's this one chunk of hair that is severely mangled and I don't know how to fix it oh my god you guys it's literally what I wanted from the beginning. Blushing Pearl, I was hoping to be this color, but it ended up being a lot more vibrant. I wanted a true blush pink, pale blush pink, and I finally have it now. Look how gorgeous she looks. I'm dead. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Oh my god, I'm in love. And it's so nice. It is a bit thin on the top. At certain spots. But, like, right on the top. I don't know that that's a problem, because... I usually have Rosalie's hair up in a high ponytail, a high half ponytail, and that would cover it up, like right there. And it is currently covered up now, so as long as I just have it covered up, I think it's fine. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I'm in love with this wig. I'm in love with how nice it is. I 100% recommend Lolly Lou Stevens. I was so nervous because I've never bought anything from her before. But this wig has had my eye for a while. And I knew that if I was going to get one wig from her and one wig only, it was going to be this one. And oh my lord, you guys, I'm so glad that I did. It's perfect. I'm gonna have to like take it into the bathroom and film with my phone so you guys can see. The sweater makes it look like a little oldly. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tiny chunk though. Because I don't know if her wigs are heat safe. Always lightly spritz with water prior to brushing using only a wire wig brush or fingers low heat style 200 to 240. Okay, so it can be styled with heat. So what I think I'm going to do is, oh lord, I'm scared. I'm going to try to straighten this teeny tiny part. Not even the entire strand, just that part so that the kink comes out. And then I'll let you guys know how it goes. So let me show you with my phone what I'm looking at right now. This is what I'm talking about. This little tiny section of hair that's majorly crimped. So I think if I straighten it, it'll be fine. Like if I pull it, like see how nice it looks when it's taut? 
and then I loosen it and it goes like that. Like that's a massive crimp and I don't like it. So I'm gonna try to fix it and I'll get back to you guys when it's over. God, I'm so scared. All right, you guys, here she is. It's so beautiful. This is actually showing up like the actual color too. Sorry for my mother in the background. I literally straightened that kink and it looks perfect now. And there was another spot on the top that I also straightened because there was a kink. Sorry, this tiny spot is um, you guys can see the two true blend of pinks and blondes now. This is actually what it looks like. It's beautiful. The darker pink is a little bit more prominent on the screen, but you get the gist of this. I'm obsessed. This is exactly how I wanted Rosalie to be. Granted, I want her to have curls, but I haven't really styled her wig yet. So we're gonna style Rosalie's wig and give her some curls. And um, I'll show you guys the end result, but I wanted to show you guys the true color and the fact that I fixed it. My God, she's so gorgeous. This is literally what I wanted for her. I'm in love. I'm so happy. Hey guys, so I'm here with Rosalie. She's precious. I'm obsessed. I did try finger curling it and it didn't really work out so well for the strand that I tried. I really should have tried more. Um, and I mean, I will. I will try more. I'm kind of doing it now as I'm saying that. And it's it's kind of doing it. But um, the one strand I was trying to do, it, it wasn't it wasn't cooperating. So I took like a real human curling iron to it. And uh, you can kind of see what happened. It didn't burn or anything like that. I was very careful. And I made sure that I was careful with my heat setting. And I applied more than enough water so that it wouldn't burn. Um... There's literally like the slightest bit of curl and it's a little longer now from being exposed to heat but I don't think it's that much longer than the rest of the hair so the more it dries the better it looks so I don't know I may go back over it with the curling iron the entire head but um, for now I've decided I'm just going to enjoy her as she is and I'll work with her without heat um and see how that goes let's see if this section does it better now that it's it did it works better now that it's no it doesn't <laughs> it falls flat that's the problem i'm having with finger curling this wig so far it kind of just it falls flat doesn't really keep a curl so maybe what i'll do is i'll roll them up and bobby pin them and see because I want my baby to have curls so far not so good but anyway I think this is where I'm going to we're still shedding hair by the way there's a lot of shedding going on we're gonna leave you guys here um, if I have any more updates I'll put them in the video somewhere uh, but for right now I think I'm just gonna enjoy her and hang out with her and spend time with her. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Hey guys, it's me. Today is August 20th. And I have an Etsy package. I'm excited. I've been wanting the contents that were in this for a while. I finally got them. And then they shipped. And... I'm excited. So we're gonna open this up. Oh my god! 
Are these tiny boxes? Shut up. Okay, so it came with two tiny boxes that you make out of like paperboard. Oh my, shut up. This is so cool. Okay, hold the phone, I wanna make the boxes. And box two. It's neat how she included these. Wait, what's this? Oh! She sent cards. Okay, so here's her card. This is Emma's doll shop. I don't know if I'm ever, I'm ever going to be ordering from them again. We'll see. It's literally the same on the back. She just crossed out that to write what was on this side. So this is the more updated side. And then there's a little thank you card. It says, thank you for your order. Now sit back, relax, and watch your child enjoy her new gift for her doll. Thanks, Ashley Sue. Well, technically, it's my doll and my thing. Not my doll. Not my child's, but that's okay. All right, so. Ooh, these are nice. I was worried they weren't going to be nice. And I'm glad that that's not the case. So I got little Dolly Converse in white and black. So I'm going to open the black pair first. There's a sticker on there that says black. And I'm assuming... Oh, there isn't one that says... Oh, there is. There's a sticker that says white. These shoes are from Sophia's brand. I didn't know that, but I like that because Sophia's is a known brand. Okay, these are nice. So they have like a plastic sole. They have this part, like this white part around the front, a pleather toe. Oh, excuse me. White stitching. And then what she did to alter this is actually she put, like, she replaced the laces with elastic. So that's why her shoes are different from the ones that actually come from Sophia's. And I liked the elastic. I thought it looked cleaner. Um, so I was happy to purchase them from her. So obviously with each pair. Oh, I have them the wrong way. I was like, do I have two of the same side? Because if I do, that's going to really stink. So... There are obviously two that come in a pair. I love how there's the white contrast stitching on the black. It looks really nice. I got these for the boys. Because I think the boys are really going to love these. And the white pair are also Sophia's brand. This is the pair I actually really wanted. So on this one, it's very clean, very white. You obviously get two. It's white pleather on the toe still. Still got this like band around the front. Still got the black stripe detailing on the side. And the canvas on both is actually of a really nice material. It feels really good. And then... Her shoes also have the elastics, which I really, really like. I really love the elastic. Um, so, I like it. I had to have these for Lacey, actually. <laughs> you guys are like, wait a minute, Ashley. Lacey's getting like a buttload of love. And I mean, yeah, she is. She is getting a buttload of love. So whenever I do try these on a doll, I'm going to put the white ones on Lacey. So I'll probably put the black ones on Logan and then they can match. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably going to put the black ones on Logan's now because they'll look really nice with the outfit he has on. 
and uh, Lacey will wear hers with the outfit she has on and I think they're going to twin. So actually I'm going to put them on the dolls and I'll be right back. These are so good looking. Look how nice they look on her you guys. I'm living for it. I'm living. This is so nice. Like, I'm not even doing this officially. I just literally was putting them on and, and I just... Holy crap. These are nice! I might have to get a couple more pairs from her. Okay, let's put... <laughs> let's put Logan's on him. Look! You guys! They're so nice! They look so good on... I can't. Yes, his little hand is tucked into his pocket. It, it, it slays me, but like, uh, the fit is so nice on them. Okay, come here, Lazy. His and hers converse. This is my livelihood right now, actually. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. I'm actually waiting on spoiler alert, some joggers for her in the mail, so when they come, they're going to be jogger twins too. It's going to be great. <laughs> the couple that lounges together stays together. I'm dead. This is the cutest thing ever. I'm going to have to take like a picture just of their feet because this is so adorable. I definitely recommend Hannah's Hannah's? No, it's Emma's Doll Shop. I can't. I can't English. Emma's Doll Shop. I definitely recommend Emma's Doll Shop. Lacey, can you please not? Thank you. And they recommend Emma's Doll Shop. Logan, can you like look at? Thank you. Lacey's hair is like all over the place. There we go. I fixed it. Sort of. It's better than it was. Logan, camera. You're a YouTuber. You should know how this works. Um, so yeah, um, they love they love the shoes. They're happy. And um, I'm happy too. So yay! <laughs> Let's look. One last bit. By the way, their feet are doing that on their own. I didn't do it. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Logan, can we like... There we go. I definitely recommend her shop. I love it. And they have these in like all different colors. They have them in black and white, obviously. Um, they have them in red. They have them in navy. Um, I think they have them in more colors, but those are the ones that I like. So literally, I'm going to have to go on there. If they have a light blue, I'm going to need to get those for Lazy too. Because <laughs> Lazy and light blue are like, hey. Lazy and any color blue are bay, to be honest. But I mean... So, um, definitely go check them out. Hey guys, it's me. Today is August 22nd, and I'm here with another package. This is my third last, third to last package. So, after this, I have two more, and then August, to my knowledge, is done. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is something I've been wanting for a while. It's, this is a mailer. It's obviously doll related, but not super. So you'll see. When it, you'll see. Okay, so here's my receipt. So I got this off eBay. You guys are like, what's that tiny thing? I'll show you. Oh, I love this bubble mailer. I'm going to keep this. This is really nice. Alright you guys, so here is what I got. 
It is a dog collar and it's Pepper's dog collar. So it's Pepper's collar from American Girl. My Pepper, who I brought in, came from Costco and he didn't come with a collar. And ever since I got him, I've been wanting to get his collar. So recently I started, finally, like years later, I finally started looking for listings for the collar separately and I found one and I bought it. So let's put it on him and see how nice he looks with his collar. Oh, Pepper! He looks so good with his little collar. Oh, I love it. I'm happy to finally have his collar now. So, this is literally all I got today. I got Pepper's collar, finally. Um, I love how it matches his eyes. You can't really see too well because of his hair. But his eyes are blue. And his collar matches perfectly with his eyes. He's a stylish little pup. So here's the collar. It's a blue ribbon with Velcro on the back. And it's got a plastic little tag sewn on that has his name on it. It says Pepper. And I love it. It's perfect. I'm happy to finally have it. And he finally has his collar now. I do need to get like one more pet collar for my Pomeranian who doesn't have one. So I'll have to get like a one of those American Girl create your own, like not create your own, one of those American Girl collars that come with the leashes. And I already have one in mind. They don't sell it anymore, of course, but we can look on eBay for one that's a decent price. So with that being said, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so very much for watching this part. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys when the next package comes. Hey guys, today is August 23rd and I have another package. It's from H&M as you guys can see. Sorry, I hiccuped. So let's get this open. You guys may be thinking, Ashley, is this a return label? Yes. Okay. You may be thinking, why did you order something from H&M? And if you did, why did you include it in this video? Well, they're clothes that are actually baby clothes. And I got them for the dolls. So I'm hoping they're going to fit. Let's see. I think this was the sale pair that I got. So I got four pairs of joggers which is ridiculous, but I've been wanting doll joggers so badly, and I thought it might be cheaper if we take the baby clothes route. Aww. Look how tiny these are. So they are the smallest size, which is zero to two, zero to one month. This pair is a dark gray. It's got an elastic waistband. It's got little tiny holes for the feet and a tie. So this is the first pair. This pair was on sale for half off. So it's originally 10, but I got it for four, for five, sorry. So I got that pair for the boys. And I have another pair here. This one is actually for someone in specific. <laughs> so, these are also zero to one month. And they are a light blue. And they have an elastic waist. A plain, like terry cloth set of strings and little holes. I'm really hoping these fit the dolls. I mean, the nice thing is I can tighten the waist. So the waist will fit. I'll have to try them on a doll and see if they fit properly. So then this set is actually a two, was actually a two pack. So this one came with two. It would be good if I could actually open it though. 
it's looking like it doesn't open the same way. So what I'm going to do is before I rip this open, I'm going to try the other two on dolls and then come back. So for posterity, here's Logan wearing the American Girl, well they're not American Girl brand, but they're joggers that are made to fit an American Girl doll. And this is what they look like on him. So then I'll show you what the ones that I just got look on him. Okay, so here's what the joggers from H&M <laughs> look like on. Um, I tightened them around the waist, and so they're fitting him really well around the waist. It's just <laughs> look how baggy these <laughs> They are so baggy. There's so much extra. <laughs> So much extra fabric, and things are poking out a little weirdly because I kind of shoved the tag inside the pants because there's so much broom. I kind of was just like, let's just shove the tag in there. So, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I mean, they look better in the front than they do in the back, and they could probably be adjusted. Um, by sewing them. I don't know how I'd adjust the back. I mean, they mostly just have too much fabric, so I'd probably just have to take them in some, and then I don't know how I would adjust the back. I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but they're adorable, and it seemed cheaper to me to get baby joggers than to get some from Etsy because Etsy's not cheap and I wanted like a bunch of joggers because I have a jogger problem and I found so many cute pairs on the H&M website <sighs> I don't know man this is a lot of work <laughs> I mean I could probably Experiment a little bit with like some pins so I could kind of see what I was working with here like look I just took a bit of it in my hand in the back and like look how much better it looks it looks like it fits him so much better so I think I just need to like remove some of this fabric somehow excuse me I don't know how though, and it sounds like a lot of work. Let's try the blue ones on just so I'm 100% sure that they're all going to fit like this. Oh my god, these fit so much better. Is this the tag? I think that's the tag. It's making it look bad on the sides. Well, maybe it's a bit of extra fabric because... I mean, it is still pretty baggy. But look how much better these look. I mean, yeah, they're still really, really baggy in the back. But, ooh, you know what I just thought of? What if I pulled them up a little bit? There we go. Hold on. New development. I just pulled them up a bit. I don't know what. Let me see the tag. Pulled them up a bit so they're like up to his belly, like right here. That's where the top of it is. And they're looking a little bit. <sighs> God. Just scared the crap out of myself. A little bit better. In the back, it's still a little bunchy, but. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, I mean, if I pull it up, it looks really, really good. Still a little baggy, but joggers are meant to be baggy. So, I think I deem the blue ones a thumbs up if you pull them all the way up here. And there isn't fabric bunching. So now I'm curious about the other two. 
let's open them up and see. So here's the gray pair. This is the pair that I really wanted. It looks like it has a pocket, but it's just a crease. Oh my god, I love the heathered print. This is literally exactly what I wanted in a pair of doll leg jeggings. No jeggings, joggers. Here is the black pair. So they have the same tie as this one. So I don't know we're trying this pair on because this is the pair I am genuinely invested in. God, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. All right. Yeah, they're on the shorter side, just like the gray pair, the darker gray pair, I should say. Because these are also gray. They're just lighter in color. Wait a minute. These look really good. He still looks like he's a little pregnant, but I mean, it's Gucci. Oh my God, this is great. This is really good news that this fits because I really wanted this pair for, for my child. Okay, so let's try on the black pair. Because it seems, even though they're all the same size, they're fitting differently. And I mean, at $5, I'll probably keep the dark gray pair because they were cheap. And I mean, the black pair I'm going to have to keep anyway because they came with the gray pair. And I'm keeping the light gray pair. So, regardless of what happens with these, I'm keeping them. So let's just hope that they fit. That'll be what we hope for. Hold this down. Logan, stop trying to touch my boob. There we go. So it seems that this haul was a success. I'm excited to play around with these now. I'm really, I was worried. I was worried that they weren't going to fit right or they weren't going to look good. And really only one of the four wasn't doing it for me. So that's really fascinating and really lucky. So I guess now I can safely cut all the tags off. These would look really nice with his Adidas shirt that he's wearing right now. I'm going to try one last time to see if I can get them to look right on him. And if I can't, then they'll just go to my Reborn baby. Yeah, I think the dark gray ones are a fail. And I don't know how that's possible, considering the other two are literally the same um, design. But I guess this is just meant to go to my Reborn son. Who I actually really want to put in this now. And these are going to be way too big on him, too, but... He's going to wear them with pride because they're adorable and I spent five bucks on them. Thank you guys so very, wow, Logan, much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Excuse me. Here's the ones that are made for American Girl dolls just for comparison. So the baby ones are much, much bigger. But that's okay. In my opinion, joggers are meant to be baggy. But anyway, I will see you guys when the next package arrives. All right, you guys. So after this entire video went so incredibly long, I decided August was going to be three parts. So, um... <laughs> I hate myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!